what happens in Vegas may stay in Vegas, but what happens outside of work doesn't always stay outside of work. The public may be very forgiving when it comes to celebrities behaving badly, but will your boss be as forgiving if you behave badly outside of work? Will your actions damage your career? It depends on what you did, who saw it, and how it affects your employer. So here's some things to think about and avoid to make sure that what happens outside of work definitely stays outside of work. Don't post risque content on the internet. You may think that picture of you drunk and incoherent on your Facebook page is funny, but if your boss or prospective boss comes across it, it could be very embarrassing. Getting arrested. If you get arrested, particularly if it makes the news, you can count on people, including your boss, customers, and coworkers, looking at you a little bit differently. Don't disclose your employer secrets. Revealing proprietary information is a breach of ethics and could harm your employer where it hurts the most, on that bottom line. This won't bode well for you as far as your current job is concerned, and it can tarnish your reputation with future employers as well. Even competing companies that may have benefited from your indiscretion may be reluctant to hire you. Don't badmouth your boss, coworkers, or customers. Nobody likes to have nasty things said about them. If you say something mean about an acquaintance, he or she may stop talking to you. Your boss and co-workers may make going to work unpleasant, and customers may decide to go do their business elsewhere. Don't post harmful information about your employer on your blog. Do you have a blog? If you do, be careful what you say about your job as well as your personal life. Things to avoid include some of the other items on this list, like bad-mouthing your boss or colleagues or revealing company secrets. Don't moonlight for a competitor. Even if there isn't anything that forbids you from working for a competitor, you should clear it with your manager first. He or she could see it as a conflict of interest. Getting drunk in front of your boss and colleagues. Whether you're out to dinner with your colleagues or at an office party, which by the way is technically a work-related event, don't get drunk or misbehave in any other way. Maintaining a professional demeanor is imperative whenever you're around anybody that you work with. Don't make racist, sexist, or other statements that reflect any of your prejudices. While freedom of speech allows you to say whatever you want, the question is, should you? Remarks that reflect intolerance towards groups of people are hurtful and can reflect negatively on your employer if you are seen as a company representative. Your boss is likely to disapprove if your colleague reports that you're doing something even outside of work that is making him or her uncomfortable. Should your boss conclude that your colleague may also be so uncomfortable that it impedes his or her performance at work, you may find that your job is in jeopardy. Don't get caught out and about on a sick day. So, you want to spend the day on the beach or at the mall shopping. Do you call in sick or you, do you take a personal or vacation day? If you picked call in sick, Think about what will happen if your boss or someone who tells your boss sees you shopping and enjoying your day off. And last, but certainly not least, people identify you with your job and the company that you work for. No matter where you are in the community that you live, people relate who you are with where you work. One thing is for sure, customers and potential customers know who you are and what you do. It's really important that your professional image and reputation is reflected both inside and outside of the workplace. At Hamill Resources, it's about people. Visit us on the web at www.hamillresources.com.